the price of policy misstep, the price of poor communication of policy intentions is very high. This week, we have an opportunity to work towards minimizing the risks of missteps and poor communication. Let me give you a few uh, highlights. In this context of us appealing to policymakers to act with a sense of urgency now and also to act together, we see very clear areas where we can do better even in this more complex environment. First, bring inflation down. We know that rising interest rates come at some cost to growth, but we also know that not tightening enough to put a leash on inflation would mean interest rates staying higher for longer, resulting in even more harm to growth and to people. Uh, for central banks, this means taking decisive action when it is necessary, but also it means communicating as clearly as they can. Second, act now to put in place responsible fiscal policy. We must prior prioritize protecting the vulnerable, the vulnerable households, the vulnerable businesses that are so important for the economy to function. But we have to do that uh, uh, with uh, uh, fiscal buffers exhausted because of the pandemic, levels of debt very high. And so the, the, the obvious conclusion is that policy measures need to be well targeted and they need to be temporary. Steer away from across the board fiscal support that is neither effective nor affordable. If we are to help people and fight inflation, we must ensure that fiscal and monetary policy go hand in hand. You heard me uh, saying that multiple times. I'm going to say it again because it is so important for this me message to penetrate. When monetary policy puts a foot on the brakes, fiscal policy should not step on the accelerator because if it does, we are for a very dangerous ride. And third, we need to act now to safeguard financial stability, particularly as we see rising financial sector risks. Macroprudential policies need to be even more vigilant and address proactively pockets of vulnerability. In this environment, we also must support vulnerable emerging mar and, uh, market and developing countries. It is tough for everybody, but it is even tougher for countries uh, that uh, are now being hit by stronger dollar, high borrowing costs, capital outflows, a triple blow that is particularly uh, heavy for countries that are under high level of debt. Uh, 